if you want to simplify your calendar availability and staff's availability, then this video is for you. Because in this video, we're going to discover how can schedules help you centralize all of the availability settings inside of high level. Now, you might be already familiar that for a calendar to work, you need to have one staff member assigned, or you could have multiple ones if it's a round robin. But if you have multiple calendars and multiple staff members with different availabilities, it can become hectic to manage that schedule. And if that changes, it could become a lot of work. And exactly for that reason, we're going to learn how schedules can help you simplify that process. All right. So on my screen, you can see I'm under settings and calendars. And if I go to my availability, you will see all the staff members here in this drop down. So let's say I select this one here. Now it will show me the work hours by default. So these are the default hours. Whenever this staff member will be added to any calendar, this is the default working availability that will be set for that calendar. So here you can actually choose where do you want to apply this setting. You could also choose the time zone. And here, of course, you set the weekly hours. So for example, we have these hours and I want to change them to let's say 9 a.m. to all the way up to 6 p.m. So let's just do that. And I'm going to copy it to all of them. And I'm going to keep the Saturday and Sunday off. You could also add date specific hours if there are holidays and stuff. So that is up to you. And once you're happy with the settings, just make sure that you click on save changes. Now, here's an interesting part. You might be noticing that I have multiple tabs here. So we have the work hours, which is the default availability for this staff member, but I do have on call or office hours. So what this allows you to do is that you could basically create templates of working hours or different type of schedules for one staff member. For example, in this high level account, if I had over to calendars, I have set up two calendars for a chiropractic practice. So we have a personal booking calendar, which is chiropractic adjustment and initial screening. And then we have a round robin, which is for spinal decompression. Now, let's say this staff profile is for one of the doctors, right? And we want to set it up in a way where he is available for the five working days to see people for the adjustments and initial screenings but he has a different availability for spinal decompression, right? And it's pretty common that doctors are on call for different type of services or treatments, right? So let's say we set the normal availability for initial screening and we take away spinal decompression and we hit save changes. And then for the on-call hours, we're gonna set that up differently. So let's say the doctor is available on call only on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And once we dial that in, we're gonna make sure that this setting only applies to the spinal decompression. And the time zone is fine, and we're just gonna go ahead and save changes. Now, what this has basically done is that it has set up two different types of timings for two different calendars or services that we have in this chiropractic clinic. And even if you have way more calendars, if you just set up the availability from a centralized place here, it will be much more easier just to set a schedule and the hours automatically apply. And I'll show you, this is one of the ways to set the calendar, but let's say if you are inside one of the calendars, so let me just go here and head over to availability. So if you click on the staff member, you are able to pick different type of schedules. So you saw that work hours is default, and if I don't change it, it will stay that way. But if I want to attach an on-call schedule, I could actually see a preview of it, or I could even make a quick edit here and then just hit save. So this way I have the option to select different type of schedules for different staff members. And of course, you just have to set this up once from a centralized window that we saw earlier. And this setting is of course not just applicable to the personal calendars. So here you can see I have one round robin calendar. And if I edit this and go to availability, I have two different staff members or doctors, you could say in this case, I could select one of these and then set the schedule from here. So this staff profile only has one, but this one of course has three different types of schedules. So I could just go ahead and select the on call and it already had that because we already set that from the centralized window. So this is how you can map it from the calendar if you're doing it from this window. And lastly, just to do a recap, if you only have one schedule set up, then of course that will be the default. But if you have multiple ones and you wanna make another one the default, then you will need to 
pin it. So if you click on this, it will say make the schedule default and it will change it. So that means that even if you set up a new calendar and assign this staff member to that, it will automatically have this schedule set up. And of course, you can still change it or map it to different calendars if you want to. But this basically gives you the ability to pretty much manage the schedule across the board. So that was about this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or you can check out our help docs or our official YouTube channel. This is Osama signing off for now. I'll see you in the next one.